Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Xiaomi Fi, and today we're gonna look at the Akara Wi Fi enabled smoke detector. Is it any good? Well, let's find out. Let's go. In the box, you'll find the smoke detector itself, a ceiling mounting plate, some screws, and the batteries. The smoke detector is 10 by 5 centimeters in size and weighs in at 190 grams. It uses two AA batteries and it can be easily mounted to your ceiling or wall. The loudspeaker is pretty damn loud as it will go up to around 85 dB, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's a very audible frequency and just wait till you stand next to it, you'll know exactly what I mean. It connects over Wi-Fi to receive alerts on your phone when you're at home or away. And in China, it actually has a backup as it works with the so-called NBIOT, but more on that in a little bit. You can mount it to the wall or ceiling using the included plugs and screws, put in the batteries, and you can install it with the Xiaomi Mi Home app. As this one, opposed to the Xiaomi Fire Alarm, connects over Wi-Fi, so you don't need to have a gateway to connect it with, but it will connect directly to your router. From the Mi Home app, you can install this as a new device, which for now is only available on the China mainland server. Once it's installed, you can access it through the devices page where it has a pretty basic interface. It will alert you when the battery gets low and it will obviously also alert you when it detects smoke. You can use it with automation rules so you can have it, for example, turn off certain power sockets or turn on lights in case it detects fire. And you can also have it ring an alarm on the gateway if needed. And a ton of other automation rules depending on what type of devices that you have in the app. Now, does it work? Well, I obviously had to test it out. And yeah, it seems to work all right. And this thing beeped loud as... So what is this NBIOT that I was mentioning earlier? This is a service that Acara partnered with with China Telecom and what it does is that it will send out an alert to your phone when the smoke detector detects smoke even when the Wi-Fi network is down. So it has some type of SIM card connection in there. And that, obviously, I had to try out again. So I've turned off my router, I've tested the smoke detector again with my phone set to 4G, and it actually worked. Actually got the notification. So I got a notification even when my internet is down. And that is pretty amazing. In China, the Akara smoke detector came out in the Yopin store and Akara's Tmall page for 299 renminbi, which is around 42 US dollars or a little less than 39 euros. So now then, what do I think of it? And I've got some important side notes here as well. So first, as a smoke detector, it's just fine. It works, it does what it needs to do. It's loud. It is not the most beautiful design as I personally like the design of the Xiaomi smoke detector a little bit more, but there's a few core differences. Mainly the fact that this one connects over Wi-Fi instead of Zigbee is an important difference. And the fact that this one can even work when my internet is down is also very innovative and very comforting to know. But there's a few big buts as of right now. First of all, this NBIoT is a partnership with uh, China Telecom, and as such, that service only works within China mainland. Also, the smoke detector only works on the China mainland server, which is fine, as many of you use products that are connected to that server, but I wanted to point it out. And most importantly, because it is a mainland China product for now, there is no warranty when using it outside of China, and it might not be covered by your insurance in case of an actual fire, even though it would alert you when you're not at home. But you would have to check all of that for yourself in the country you reside. But for me, as I'm in China, I am quite happy with the Akara smoke detector. And one of the other downsides is that it is frankly quite pricey. I mean, in China, it's already 299 RMB, so it's definitely not the cheapest one. So I'm sure you're paying a little bit extra for that peace of mind. So that's about it for the Akara smoke detector. What do you guys think? Let me know down here in the comment section what your thoughts are. And uh, if you like this video, please give a little thumbs up below the video to show me that you liked it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, 
know that you probably should because I'm doing a ton of videos about products from the Xiaomi ecosystem and ecosystem partners like Akara right here on the Xiaomi Fi channel. As always, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see y'all soon. Peace.